Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? So today I wanted to show you how to install the PyCharm in the latest Kali Linux box. By the way, Kali Linux, the latest 2021, has been wonderful. I've been testing it for the last few days and I like the look and feel and design. I like everything about it. And uh, there are definitely some security enhancements and uh, uh, previous Kali machines, you typically would log in as root and will be running all the commands as root but now that feature is gone so now you can still run as root but typically you would be uh, we will not be running as a root and you would be using the shooter command to do whatever you want okay so what i want to show in this Kali, i'll be doing a whole bunch of python scripting in the socket library and my favorite id is the pycharm id how can you install the pycharm which does not come by default in in Kali Linux. So you all you need to do is go to you know your search box, make sure you're connected to the internet, and then look for your PyCharm. Okay, and we are good to use the community edition for this. That's all we need. So if it comes down there, click on download. It will take you to this page and. And this is detecting that I'm in the Linux environment. I'm inside the Kali. So it's kind of really uh, taking me to this page. It's not, it didn't take me over here or here. It just took me over there. So all you need to do is click on download and it will uh, start the download in few seconds. And it's gonna say, hey, what do you wanna do with this file? You can just save the file to a place where you know where you're, where you're uh, saving. So right now I have already downloaded that in one uh, one place. Uh, it's saving it uh, once more time. The file is about 515 MB and since I have already saved it, okay, I can just go. Uh, you can download and uh, once your download is done, pause the video and go to the next step. And the steps we're going to follow is really very, very simple. So in this case, uh, I can even cancel this download i'm just going to use the file that i've already downloaded for you to make the video a little bit, go a little bit faster so if i open this one uh, i see that the file is let's see where did we store this file so this is uh mozilla student over here okay whatever you have stored the file you can right click on it and uh, you can let's see you can do extract to and what i would like to do i want to extract this file to say maybe the documents or desktop somewhere in there you can extract whatever you want so it's uh, looking into the file so let's just do under document let's see what we have we have pretty much nothing so i'm going to extract the file so this is going to extract that uh, pycharm dart.zz file another thing i have not done you should probably do if there's a file has you want to make sure that the file integrity is maintained you can also do that all right so now i know that this file should be down there in my documents folder and here it is and usually under the bin folder there is a sh file that you should typically use for installation where this you guys see the sh file pycharm.sh so that is what we need now you can just click and run things like that okay so you have to go to that folder and run it so let's just open up our terminal and we know that uh, this is under our document. So let's just go on a document to our ls. And here's the folder that we need to get inside. So let's do uh, cd to this folder. And we know that we're gonna go inside the bin folder as well. So go to the bin and over here do the, the ls. And based on the color, I know that this file is already executable. So let's see if I can run it without any sudo. So pycharm.sh, uh, what I want to run and hit enter. So this is a file that I'm executing right now. I didn't really use and it came up with this uh, nice uh, agreement. I will agree and confirm that we are good with the agreement. And uh, I don't really send data anonymously to PyCharm so I'm just gonna click uh, don't send and here we go here I have my <coughs> PyCharm just up and running so here uh, if you guys don't know how to create a project I'll show you real quick 
and at this point I can just click on a new project and it's gonna tell me okay what's the name of the project so by default it's gonna create a folder called Python project and under that folder you will have multiple other projects so the first one let's say I want to create a project for network uh, security okay oh, oh network then underscore security that's the name of the project that I want and from the new environment uh, you can choose any of them virtual environment is okay with me so I'm going to keep that one and you look at that it's picked up the base interpreter user bin python 9 so that is what comes default as the install python with uh, with Kali now Kali 2020 that is wonderful the latest version of python is automatically installed so I don't have to do anything and just hit create so that should give you uh, your project and a sample file where you can immediately start working on your python projects okay so let's uh, get that one over here and as soon as it's here we'll just run a very quick program the sample program make sure it's working and we can end the video here and in the future video we'll talk about more what am i planning to do with this okay so here is our standard sample uh, main.py file uh, that showed up under the network security that vnv has everything configured for the pipe uh, by environment configuration you don't need to worry about any of that stuff for now for writing writing new files just right click on it okay and uh, create a new file and or new folder whatever you want organize however way you want to organize your code go from there for now i just i'm just interested in running this code and so what's going to happen if i run this code this uh, line 14 should call this particular function and this function should execute this line and it should print the name uh, whatever name we are providing and the name is going to come in from pycharm so let's change that name uh, uh, change that name to something like uh, hello from from cloud security training and then let's run the code and if everything goes all right we should have a successful output and there it is exit equals zero that is also telling you that everything went wonderfully okay that's the end of my video hopefully you have learned a little bit from this video and i highly recommend pycharm as your python developer development environment or ide uh, i used it for most of my I, uh, you know python projects the other one if you are not using this one is probably the next best one would be the uh, Visual Studio Code or they're almost equally you know uh, powerful I kind of like this one for most of my projects if I'm doing something other than say Python I would use the Visual Studio Code okay that's all I wanted to say have a wonderful wonderful time great day have fun uh, subscribe and come back for more videos thank you